24th of September. My electric went off today. I went to put a CD on about two o'clock and the stereo wouldn't work. It hadn't come on by three o'clock, so I went to find the power board, but the phone wasn't working either, and my mobile needs recharging. If the power's not on again by tomorrow morning, I'll go over to Rose's place and use her phone. 25th of September. Okay, so the stupid car wouldn't start this morning. I knew I should have got it surfaced. I had to use my old bike to go to Rose's, and she wasn't home anyway. I had to use the spare key. But when I got inside, her power and phone were off too. I left a note on the counter. When I got home, I noticed that my water pressure was down to a trickle. I went to next doors, on both sides. They were away. So I tried their outside taps. And they were down to a trickle too. I've rigged up a bucket by the downpipe. If the council don't get it fixed or drop off some water bottles soon, I might need that. Guess I won't be getting a shower tonight. Actually, I haven't seen any guys from the council or the electric. I thought there'd be some workmen in trucks about. But I haven't even seen any cars go by today. I got the old gas cooker out of the shed. It should still be three quarters full from last Christmas, so at least I got to cook up some instant noodles. 27th of September. Right, so now the water is completely off and I can't even flush the toilet anymore. I've had to start going behind the wood pile. That is getting weird. I've checked all the surrounding houses and nobody's home. I know Tom at number eight often goes to see his rallies in Westport. And the old couple at number 12 have gone to England for a few months. But where's everyone else? I actually borrowed Tom's generator. Lucky the side door to his garage wasn't locked. I hope he doesn't mind. I finally managed to work out how to get the thing going. I've seen him use it once before, when the storm knocked the power out. And I remember he said to leave it outside because of the fumes. I tried the radio and the TV, but it got nothing but static. 4th of October. It's starting to look like I'm here for the long haul. I've been biking all around the neighborhood and I can't find anyone. I've started doing some more in the garden lately and planted some potatoes today. Plus, I got a bit of a hole down the backyard for a loo. I've had to fill up the generator twice so far and don't have any more petrol for it. So tomorrow I'm gonna try siphoning petrol out of the car. 12th of October. Hey, I found someone. resting my food and oh really but that's run out and I've oh run out of medicine as well now oh dear uh, so how have you been getting on how did you go well, I knew something was up when the uh, nurse hasn't been for a few days and the power went off and well, the oh, phone's it's gone off and cold in here. yeah of course I've run out of water now too oh dear I was filling pots and pans well you up can't be without water here 
Here, I'll give you mine. Oh, thank you. I have to go home because I've got more food at home and I've got chickens at home, I have fresh eggs at home and I'll come back tomorrow with the car and then I'll take you with me. And we'll so go. You, do you promise you're going to be back tomorrow? I, I will be back tomorrow. I will be. I will be back tomorrow. Honestly, honestly, I promise. I will be back tomorrow. Okay. Thirteenth of October. I don't know what to say. Today seemed to start okay. I went out early on the bike and found some food and then thought on the off chance to check some cars in driveways and unlocked garages. Today, Phil, are you asleep? Phil, Phil, What on earth? What was that? A, it's a skyrocket. Wow, there's people lighting fireworks. Forget all that depressing waffle I wrote earlier. Tomorrow I'm going to head northwest and try to find whoever it is. I wonder if they're alone, like me. Or maybe it's a whole community. I'm just sick of being alone. <laughs> 